Welcome back in my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss on the topic inhalation of microorganisms in air. See, the microorganisms in the air causes a problem of contamination in the different places. Uh, like uh, food industry, milk plants, industrial process, pathological and research labs, mainly in operation centers. Therefore, the microorganisms uh, of a uh, number of organisms, measurement of the number of organisms in the air of such places is important. Then, microorganisms in the air are present in the form of clumps, uh, clumps or chains or free forms. And they are adhered to the dust particles or the saliva or mucus or mucus of the man. Then there are uh, for the sampling of uh, microorganisms in the air, the several methods have been developed. First one is the simplest method and second one is the advanced method. In simplest method, the two uh, methods use culture method and microscopic method. Advanced method, in advanced method, different techniques used, solid impaction, liquid impingement, filtration, sedimentation, centrifugation, precipitation, and thermal precipitation. These are the different two methods used for the in, uh, isolation, sorry, used for the sampling of air as well as the uh, enumeration of microorganisms of air. Then, next will be the culture method. It is the simplest method. It is the very simplest method. Is exposure of the slides, uh, sorry, exposure of the sterile nutrient medium plates to the air for the different time period. And these plates are then incubated during which the settled organisms grow and form the colonies. Then, the number of organisms can be calculated, can be calculated from the number of colonies. But this is the rough idea about the number of uh, number and the kind of microorganisms in the air because we don't know the exact volume of air come in contact with the nutrient agar plates. This method is consisting of the transferring microbes from air into the surface of appropriate culture medium. Also, it is after after the incubation, period of incubation at the applicable uh, temperature as well as the time, the form colonies are counted and the result is given as CFU per m square, sorry, m cube of the air. That is the colony forming unit. Next one is the microscopic method. In this microscopic method, the air is passed through the membrane printer and placing a glass coated with a sticky substance that is Vaseline in the path of air and then stain uh, of the trapped organisms and microscopic stair testing consisting of the sink counting this is about the microscopic testing or method this is air sampling cassette is one of the microscopic method mostly used it is designed for the rapid collection of the wide range of the airborne aerosols, including the moles, spores, pollens, insect, etc., insect parts, etc., and it collects both the viable and non-viable sample specimens. After sampling is completed, the cassettes are sent to the laboratory, where the slides are removed from this cassette, and direct microscopic analysis can be performed directly seen the microscope in seen the microorganisms in microscope this is the air sampling cassette then next one is the solid impaction thing it is also called as a sieve device method this is the advanced technique in this solid impaction, there are the number of sample devices work on the principle of impaction of the airborne particle. In this, the aspirator, one of the aspirator attached here, this sucks the known volume of air which collides with the nutrient agar in the plane. And this causes the microbes in the air to stick. 
micros in the air to stick the surface of an agar medium. The plates are then incubated at a specific time for a specific temperature and form the colonies. Then these are the most often used method for the detection and enumeration of microorganisms. The most widely known device is the solid that is the based on the solid impaction in the device is a CU device method. Why called CU? Because in the metal plate, there are the number of holes found, so called as the CU device. And there are the two types of the device. First one is the single stage and next one is the multi-stage. This is the diagram of single stage device. This arrow shows the air inlay. This is the perforated metal plane. Have the small holes. Okay. Then this one is the metal box. Then this is the petri plate. This is the one of the petri plate containing the nutrient agar medium. And so this uh, only one nutrient agar plate used in this container so called as the single stage device and this is the air outflow this is the air inlet okay it is a mechanically very single and it consists of the metal box with the metal box this one is the metal box with metal cover and this cover has a large number of space with the small holes and under this a petri plate containing the agar medium can be kept and the major volume of the air is drawn through those the hole and the particles containing microorganisms are allowed to settle on the agar plates and plates are then incubated for the specific time and then microbial colonies on the agar surface are counted. This is about the single stage CU device. Okay. Then next one is the multi-stage device. In this, it is consists of the again a perforated plate. This one is a perforated plate with progressively smaller holes at each stage and allows the particle to be separated according to the size. Okay depend on the size of the dust particles or aerosol and based known the multi-stage sampler is the Anderson sample. In the multi-stage solid impaction the very best uh, used sampler is the Anderson air sampler. In this air is drawn through the series of these six circular plates either some container contains eight plates is perforated with the 400 holes. See, this is the plate and that have the near about 400 holes for passing the air and con uh, connect with the nutrient above plate. And this plate uh, in a series, plates in a series have progressively small holes. Therefore, first plate have the large hole and the last plate have the small holes the largest particle the largest particle being deposited in the first and while the smallest particle in the last petri dish this viable particles can be collected on a variety of a different variety of the bacteriological agar medium and then identity uh, incubate and identify this one is the air Anderson air sampler. This is the air inlet. This is air outflow. This is the metal container or metal box. And this is the metal perforated metal plate. How the holes. And these are the petri plates. These uh, advantages of the few devices are the volume of the air can be analyzed as well as measured. And the air is drawn with the high speed. Therefore, the particle of the high speed, therefore, the particle of the smaller size that might be expressed on the settle on the uh, uh, sorry, settle on the last agar surface, agar plates. Okay. There will be the even distribution on the agar surface, and this results in the formation of isolated colonies. This is very useful to take colony count and it is very simple and mostly used. Which one is the Anderson multi-stage solid impaction suit device?
these all both single stage and multi stage of uh, types of the solid impaction next we move the impingement method that is liquid impingement method uh, in this uh, this method the basic principle of this method is to separate the particulates of aerosol from an air stream by apparent collision against the flat surface and mostly we use the wet and dry impingers then uh, wet impingers collect a particle by causing them to impinge a surface submerged in a liquid while the dry impinge impingers work as the impactors also collect particle by impactions on the dry surface in this method mostly the air is come in contact or air is passed through a very small opening tube okay very small opening tube and bubbled through the liquid this liquid is present in the flask either either flask or a bottle and the organisms get trapped in the liquid medium then the liquids of the liquid flex it to determine the microgram point count in this uh, a known volume of air in this impingement uh, technique see this is the aerosol sampling concept impingement this is the instrument for the impingement liquid impingement device and in this uh, in this uh, in this flask or in this container the known volume of air is passed a uh, known volume of the air is passed in a sterile broth or sterile medium where the microorganisms from the air are trapped okay the aliquots of the broth are then used for the plating and the plates are incubated at the room temperature for a specific time with a specific uh, temperature and the colony count and is they taken to determine the number of microorganisms in this impingement the most useful device is the glass bead bubbler device which one is the glass bead bubbler device in this below part of this container we use the glass base okay it is consist of near about 250 ml cap uh, capacity of the suction pump how many 250 ml capacity of suction pump with the this one is the side arm linked with the suction pump and flow meter then this glass this container is filled with the nitrogen broth and the sterilized nitrogen block and sterilized glass beads both are the sterilized okay and this glass bead size is near about 5 mm in diameter this glass beads are uh, bubbler is filled in the glass with the stopper rubber stopper filled in the glass with the rubber stopper okay then it has a mainly small opening at the base here mainly small opening at the base uh, with the 3 mm of the diameter why uh, opening because the air aerosols or dust particle come in contact with the liquid or glass base and uh, in this nutrient broth why use glass glass beads because of the glass beads bubbles are form of the are form and the chains or clumps of the organisms are separated from each other what is the exact use of glass beads to uh, separate the chains of organisms from each other and then aliquots of the medium are used to culture the solid agar medium or the plates and then incubated at room temperature with respective time then colony count colony count taken and number of organisms determined then this is the aerosol sampling concept let us say that is the liquid impingement technique entrapment of the particles in a liquid medium 
Next one is the measurement of air contamination with the help of sedimentation, that is the set and fit method. It is the same as the uh, culture method. Uh, culture, uh, culture method, that is the you know, prepare the nutrient as our plate and exposure to the uh, air. Open the lid and exposure to the air and uh, uh, our respective with respect to the times, different times, and then incubate it and then count the colonies. That is the estimation. It is also called as the sedimentation with the settle plate method. The estimation of the number of, of bacteria in the air by permitting the bacteria to settle and open petri plate, open petri plate containing the culture media over the fixed duration. In this sedimentation technique, we use the selective as well as the differential media for the elimination of the exact microorganisms. This is about the sedimentation method. Then, the overview of these three methods, method principle with their suitable measuring, then collection of media or the surface and most important points that is uh, considered the most important point. First one is the uh, impingement in liquids. It is the, uh, their principle is air is pa air passed through the small jet and detected against the liquid surface and be used for the measuring the viable microorganisms, also used for the water aerosol. Then most important media used for this, the buffer gelatin pepto, nutrient broth or a strip the tryptosaline broth used and in this impeachment technique mostly the uh, salmon sorry sorry uh, used for the legionella species enumeration of the legio, uh, legi, legionella species in air sampling next one is the impaction on solid surface it is a uh, in this, the air passed into the sampler and particle deposited, deposited on the dry surface, that is the slides as well as the agar. It is used for the viable particle and viable microorganisms. Uh, mediums used to dry surfaces, coated surfaces with the agar. Then used for the bacteria, fungal agent sampling, then high volumes can be sampled. Sedimentation is a settled plates method. Uh, principle is particles and microorganisms settle with the help of the gravity. Then viable particles used for the uh, same viable particles and uh, measuring the viable particles and viable microorganisms. In this uh, nutrient agar plates mostly used. Then Important point consider is this very simple and best suited for the qualitative sampling, not for the not used for this fungal spores, qualitative sampling, because uh, in this sedimentation we don't know the exact volume uh, of the exact quantity of the air. These all three methods are important and uh, over here the three methods. Thank you.